The lawyers of two women who lived in the collapsed Davenport apartment building have hired the same structural engineering firm investigating the Surfside building collapse in Florida. News H Joe McCoy joins us in studio with what answers inspectors are hoping to find. Good evening, Joe. Good evening, John. A court order on Friday stopped demolition of the partially collapsed Davenport apartment building. The order allows the structural engineering firm hired by the lawyers of Peach and Lexus Berry to perform a site inspection. It also requires the city of Davenport to preserve materials from the collapsed building until the sampling and inventory protocol is agreed upon. No structure remains at 324 Main Street in downtown Davenport. But underneath the piles of rubble could lay the answers to this tragedy. We've done about 250 unfortunate things like this. Alan Kilsheimer is the CEO of KCE Structural Engineers. His company has been brought in to investigate some of the most noteworthy building collapses in history, including the World Trade Center on 9-11 and the Oklahoma City bombing. Kilsheimer and his team were hired by the lawyers of Peach and Lexus Berry. Peach had her leg amputated inside the building after it collapsed. We need to understand um, the condition of the west wall, what it was made of, how it was all tied together, the bearing of the steel beams that sat on that west wall, and the various attempts at remediation of that west wall is essentially what we're looking for. Because the building has already been demolished, Kilsheimer says his team is limited on the evidence they can gather. They have to focus on individual pieces to hopefully put the puzzle together. What we're doing here is we're looking for various samples of different materials. We'll be testing them for their strength, for their consistency, and for their condition. Also combing through prior documentation. We know from photographs and other things that there were issues with the masonry walls in this building. We understand there was issues with plumbing. We understand there were issues with water leaks. Somebody who is knowledgeable would have known you need to get the folks out of that building or you need to brace the wall. The end goal, to find answers. We're going to come up with a list of 10, 20, 30, 40, some number of possible things that could have made this happen. And then factually, you eliminate them one at a time. You might not get it to one thing. It might be these three or four things happen to all happen at the same time. It was a perfect storm. A perfect storm with no rainbow to follow. Kilsheimer says there aren't many similarities between the Surfside and Davenport collapse. Surfside was built in the 1980s compared to the early 1900s for the Davenport building. The main similarity to him is people died and many others were displaced.